this into the word. Uh, D word. You may not need to cast these, but I generally like to just to make sure. And min for the dot lp base with dll. So as you can see, that gets me the base of that module. And then we say D word size equals D word again, uh, and that will be m info dot size of image. Beautiful. So now we know where to loop from. Now the problem is if we don't know this information it would most likely crash when we're scanning through those bytes and looking for our array of bytes. So D word pattern length. Uh, so this is how we know uh, the length of our pattern. So the pattern is uh, this obviously. So that's our pattern there. And all it does is it gets the length of the mask which is what we need for this bit here. So um, so cast into a D word as usual, uh, and that will be C trail length. Uh, that will be mask. Beautiful. Um, so what we want to do is create a for loop now. You've, you're probably very likely to have seen this before. So if you've done that previous tutorial, which I hope you have, if you haven't, it's fine. It doesn't really matter. But if you've done it, then just copy the code and skip through this bit. And move on to the next area, really. Pattern length. Pattern length. I plus plus. Um, I'm happy with that. Yep. Um, now we're going to say bool found equals true. So set it to true by default. And then we say for word. Um, we're going for j equals zero. Oops, not nine zero. J is less than uh, pattern length. J plus plus, boom, kill that. And you can put this in one line if you'd like, that's fine too. So you want to say found equals and mask J. So I'll write this first and I'll explain what it means. Uh, equals equals all pattern. Pattern, have I missed the P there? A T there, sorry. Uh, pattern j equals equals to convert the cast this into a character base plus i plus j brilliant stuff base plus i plus j is that right I mean I've obvi obviously got one too many there that's fine so all we're saying here is scan through my pattern that we have let's have a look scan through my pattern uh, and then just simply saying, if that matches all the way, then return the beginning of it. If it doesn't match, or it equals a, um, if if it equals a question mark, then ignore it because it's a pointless value, um, and we just move on to the next iteration. If it doesn't match, then start from the beginning. Okay. I guess sorry. If it doesn't match, just leave it and return nothing. That's what we're going to do then on the next bit now. So we're saying, if this is found. guess you can one line it if you like I don't mind so return base plus I boom so if you found it if there have been no disruptions until now then that means we found it and we return that value okay otherwise if we didn't find it uh, we return null fine and that's that function done I'm not going to go into too much detail about it because it's something we've done before but let's just move on so that's our functions complete Hopefully you're happy with that. And now what we're going to do is da, 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 da. so I just having a quick drink. Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to code our main and then we're going to code code our hooks um, dot h uh, and that will be last because I've got I, I want to go into a bit of detail when we get to that bit. So let's code our main now. Um, I'm going to start by including a couple of these things. Um, I guess in theory all we have to include here is include... Oops, that was a fuck up. Are you, are you guys happy with the resolution right now? Can you can you read that bit of code? Include Windows. I'm just going to keep it at this resolution throughout the rest because I think that's good enough, isn't it? Uh, uh, and that, this bit will be include... Um, what am I including here? 
Windows I stream, that's fine. I want to include hooks.h. Oops, that's the wrong thing, I think. I hope you guys can see this alright. Hopefully that makes sense. Just joking. There we go. Back to business. Alright, so include hooks.h. That's where we'll have everything. Um, it's probably a good idea to include a couple of other things here now. Now, I think, looking at this now, I don't think this is necessary. But we will technically need it because we haven't coded our hooks.h yet and that's why we declare these things. So let's just put it in. You guys can remove it after the solution is complete. Because if you're including this header file and the header file's already got these header files, then you don't need to include them again. That's just pointless. Um, even though the, the, the compiler will make sure not to compile things twice because it's clever enough not to do that. But um, it doesn't matter. I'm, I'm just going to leave them throughout the tutorial. So initiate hooks that's how we're gonna start all our hooks and um, I'm just gonna declare this for now but we'll return to it in a second um, win API overwrite value so let's do this one as well D word win API win API uh, overwrite values that's fine good stuff so that's what we're gonna overwrite our stuff what's wrong with that it's got a tendency to lose its colors for some reason. I'll, it'll, they'll come back in a second, I think. Um, I'm going to do our DLL main. So we'll start from the bottom and move our way upwards, really. Win API DLL main. And as most of you know, this is where our, our hack begins. Because we inject, boom, DLL main runs first. So what we want to do here is we want to go H instance uh, H inst dll that's the handle for the dll module and then we have d word f fdw reason that's the reason for calling this function um, it's pretty irrelevant to us i believe lp void uh, lp reserve these are just uh, default things that we always use on our hacks lp reserve is that right lp void Reserve. Yeah, I'm happy with that. And that's all we need for our DLL main. So then we do our switch, the usual switcheroo, which we use. Um, oh, sorry, I said reason was pretty pointless, but it's definitely not pointless. Uh, it's to find out if our DLL touched properly or not. And then we say case and point. And we say case DLL uh, underscore process attach. So if we attach, then we want to. So create our, put our breakdown here. So if we attach, boom, we know the DLL injected successfully. We're happy with that, and then we do our, all our stuff here. Otherwise, if you'd like to say case DLL process detach or or failed, then display a message box to say DLL didn't inject successfully. For my example, I'm just going to cover this beginning bit here. Um, okay, so we've got that. That's fine. Uh, let me just try something out. So. I was just doing some formatting, make sure we're in the right place. So we want to call initiate. Wow, that's terrible. Initiate, initiate. Oh, initiate. Can't spell for a second. Initiate hooks is what we want to call first, and then we want to create a thread. And this is going to be our, our hacks thread where we're going to create our um, our flying capabilities. No, no. I'm going to go LP thread. Um, sorry, let's all together. Thread start routine is what we want for that. And shit, this is way too big right now. LP thread, thread start routine, and then we want to go overwrite values, which, as you know, is the thing we declared at the top. Uh, overwrite values, and then three nulls. Null, null, null. Okay, so that's good. That's what we do for that. Um, so I'm going to do that for a second so you can see a bit better. So the yeah, old process attached, we initiate the hooks where we're going to declare everything and find our patterns and then we create a thread that loops forever where we can hold space or press control to bring our player up or down. So let's move on to this bit now. So we want to do, excuse me, we want to return true if, if nothing happens. So return true or sorry, when, when once this happens. Uh, so we were successful in injecting the DLL. So let's move up to 
Um, yeah, let's move up to this one first. Let's do initiate hooks first because it's more makes more sense. Um, so what we want to do is use our beautiful find pattern function now. So ammo addy equals find pattern. So as you can see, we declared that earlier and created it, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to put that in place now. AC client .exe. If you look back through our um, well, as you can see right now, that's the name of our process. Uh, but if you look back through our code, you'll see, or oh, sorry, cheat engine, or all the debug, you'll see that it says acclient.exe. Now, if you're getting your addresses and you see that they're from a different um, source, so if I look here, I'm just try and see if I, see, as you can see, there it is. So acclient.exe, that's what it's attached to. Now, that's just a game. A lot of the time, it'll be a DLL, but it should tell you either here or somewhere else. So module AC client. there you go, there's your answer. That's the client, that, the module that we're attached to. So, AC client.exe, and guess what comes down here? So, let's just do that quickly. Uh, here we have, let's get our notepad file out. Boom, that's where that goes. There's our pattern. And the next one is our mask. Boom. So, as you remember, this is how we declared it. And this is all we have to do to get an address. That's as simple as it is. Um, and then remember when we found our address. So uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. if you if you remember this properly, I'll show you quickly. Uh, this is our unlimited ammo. You remember when we found it, it was five bytes in front. This is where we're heading. This is where it's taking us. But this is where sorry, this is where it's taking us. But this is where we want to be. On that one over there, looks like an arrow slash penis. Um, this is where we want to be. So we just say this address plus five. And this was simply just to make our life easier when doing signature scanning. So that means we go ammo addy, whatever is returned, plus equals 5. So whatever is returned, add 5 onto that to give us what we want. And this is where we can go message box addy, if you'd like. Use that if you'd like. And this will you'll see that when it prints, it'll give you the exact address in memory where that is. And then you can go with, um, you can go with um, cheat engine. So if we went to go here and we go memory view, Ignore that for now. We just go go to address, and that's where you type the address that it returns here, and that will tell you the, where the instruction begins. So you can use that if you're getting the wrong address, perhaps. So use that to test it if you'd like. I'm going to comment here because I'm pretty positive we're going to get a good result here. So then we say ammo. Uh, jump back, ammo, jump back. I haven't declared these values yet. Well, mm, let me think, let me think. Considering, so let's just declare this for now. We're going to get quite a few errors, but let's not worry about that. Equals ammo addy plus zero times seven. Now it's essential you use these as hexadecimal, and then we say place jump. When we declare that on the functions place, jump. I'm going to say byte pointer. Um, do that instead. I'm going to say ammo addy here. It's the address for our ammo. I'm going to say D word, and this is going to give us an error as well because we haven't declared it yet. Infinite ammo. And we want to go seven bytes worth of worth of. Um. So all we're doing here is we're saying place a jump on my code from. Actually, I guess I'm going to comment that out just to make a point in a bit. Saying jump to that address, the address that we've just received by scanning it, there, place a jump to our new address, okay? Boom. And that's where we run our function. So that will make a lot more sense once we, we put that in place. So that's fine. And now let's do our flying code. Um, so ignore those errors for now, please. The word flight uh, addy um, equals find pattern. Same thing again as this one, but we'll just copy that as it will be quite similar. Um, find pattern and then what we have here is do, 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 let's put our new one and this will be the sorry copy the pattern here that's the pattern and then we copy the mask as well don't forget that because we want to make sure we scan through the right values so that's fine that's our new pattern this will give us our flying uh, that, that we found earlier so um, then I want to go flying jump back again we haven't declared this so don't worry about that for now so what we're saying is plus zero times six which is a hexadecimal value obviously and then we place that jump again let's copy this for now and all we're saying is run the code that you have to do and then jump back 
you have to jump back x bytes and x bytes basically means six bytes in this example so 